Hi everyone, I'm Chef Angie Concilio with conciliaskitchenware.com and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Today I'm showing you the Porker line of manual grinders. They range in sizes. The Porker brand has been around since 1881. So if you're gonna trust any brand, you wanna trust one that's been around for well over 100 years. The Porkert line is made of gray cast iron that is covered in tin. This production ensures biologically harmless meat and food processing without any nutritional loss. At Concilios, we carry a variety of different sizes to accommodate your needs. This is the largest porker grinder. It's the number 32. This here is the number 22. These two sizes can accommodate being bolted to a wooden surface. This is the number 10. This can clamp onto a tabletop, along with these two sizes. This is the number eight. And over here, we have the smallest size. This is the number five. So the 10, eight, and five can be fastened to a countertop. The number 32 and 22 can be bolted down to a wooden surface. Although the porker grinders are traditionally used for grinding meat, they can certainly be used for a variety of other things like nuts, cheese, vegetables, grinding bread, and keep in mind the size of the disc will of course impact the overall outcome of the food being processed. What comes with your porker grinder? You will receive the body of the grinder. There's one auger, one knife, one grinding disc. You can purchase separate grinding discs to accommodate the size of the grind of meat or food that you're looking to produce. Those are sold separately. This is the handle. At the end of the handle, there's the bolt and there is the locking ring. I have some beef here that I have thawed. I have them cut into cubes. You can also cut them into longer strips. I'm gonna go ahead, place it inside. And as the meat gets passed through, you can add some more meat into the neck of the machine. To wash the grinders, I filled my sink up with some mild detergent, dish soap, and I am just going to scrub all of the pieces of my manual grinder. Never let them soak in water. You want to wash and dry right away. Do not let these manual grinders air dry. The instructions on the back of the manual specifically say to hand wash and dry right after. The next step, we're gonna take some clean paper towel, a few drops or dabs of vegetable oil, and we're gonna go ahead and lightly coat the components of the grinder. This will help preserve the shine, and this will help protect the metal and the coating for overall longevity. I'm Chef Angie Concilio with conciliaskitchenware.com. Thanks so much for joining in. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, our team members are always happy to give you guys a helping hand. We're just an email away. If you're gonna trust a brand for your manual grinders, Trust the Porker brand. It's been around since 1881, made in the Czech Republic and made with premium quality materials.